Lights, camera, drama, the explosive confrontation between Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer Garner. When two of Hollywood's most iconic leading ladies cross paths, the ripples can be felt throughout the entertainment world. Such was the case when Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer Garner found themselves at the center of a heated exchange at a local coffee shop. The details surrounding this dramatic encounter have captivated fans and gossip aficionados alike, leaving many to wonder, what exactly transpired between these two illicit powerhouses? It all began, as many a juicy celebrity story does, with whispers of romantic intrigue. Reports emerged that Lopez had discovered messages on her partner Ben Affleck's phone that pointed to a growing closeness between the actor and his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. Tensions had allegedly been simmering for some time, but this latest development was the final straw, setting the stage for a confrontation that would rock the very foundation of Tinseltown. The fateful meeting took place at a quaint neighborhood coffee shop where Lopez and Garner found themselves crossing paths. Eyewitness accounts describe a tense and heated exchange, with the two women engaging in a no-holds-barred verbal sparring match that left onlookers awestruck and a bit terrified. It was like something out of a movie, recounts one patron who witnessed the incident firsthand. The air was electric with tension. You could feel the anger and the hurt radiating off of them. I've never seen two people go at it like that, especially not to such big stars. Details remain murky, but sources close to the situation suggest that Lopez confronted Garner about the suspected relationship between the latter and Affleck. Garner, for her part, is said to have vehemently denied any wrongdoing, accusing Lopez of jumping to conclusions and overreacting. The back and forth quickly escalated, with both women hurling what one onlooker described as cutting remarks at one another. It was like watching a train wreck in slow motion, the eyewitness adds. You knew it was going to be bad, but you just couldn't look away. They were both so passionate, so unyielding. I almost felt bad for the barista who had to awkwardly stand there and try to defuse the situation. Inevitably, the commotion drew the attention of other patrons, some of whom whipped out their phones to capture footage of the altercation. In the age of social media, no celebrity encounter is safe from prying eyes and quick reflexes. Within minutes, snippets of the confrontation had begun circulating online, sparking a frenzy of speculation and commentary from fans and critics alike. While the exact details of the argument remain shrouded in mystery, the broader implications of this incident are clear. This is more than just a spat between two famous actresses. It's a tangled web of romantic entanglements, wounded egos, and the relentless glare of the public eye. The fallout from this encounter is sure to reverberate through the entertainment industry for weeks, if not months, to come. For Jennifer Lopez, this incident represents a personal affront, a betrayal of trust by both her partner and his ex-wife. The idea that Affleck and Garner may have rekindled their relationship, even if only as friends, is a bitter pill for the pop diva to swallow. Lopez, known for her fierce loyalty and unwavering commitment to her relationships, is unlikely to let this transgression slide quietly. On the other side of the equation, Jennifer Garner finds herself in a precarious position. As the wronged ex-wife, she has long maintained a dignified public persona, eschewing the drama and gossip that often plagues Hollywood's elite. However, this confrontation threatens to shatter that carefully cultivated image, potentially casting her as the villain in the eyes of the public. Garner's supporters will no doubt rally to her defense, arguing that she has done nothing wrong and is simply caught in the crossfire of a tumultuous relationship. But in the court of public opinion, perception is often more important than reality, and Garner may find herself struggling to regain the moral high ground. And then there's Ben Affleck, the man at the center of this entire debacle. As the former husband of one woman and the current partner of another, Affleck finds himself in a delicate balancing act, navigating the treacherous waters of his personal life while trying to maintain his professional success. The fallout from this incident could have serious implications for his career, as well as his relationships with both Garner and Lopez. However, the intense scrutiny and pressure ultimately proved too much for the couple to handle, and they called off their engagement in 2004. In the aftermath, both Affleck and Lopez retreated from the spotlight, focusing on their individual careers and personal lives. For Affleck, the fallout from the Benefer saga was particularly devastating. His image as a leading man had taken a hit, and he struggled to regain his footing in the industry. 
It wasn't until several years later, with the critical and commercial success of films like Argo and Gone Baby Gone, that he was able to fully rehabilitate his reputation and reclaim his status as a respected actor and filmmaker. Meanwhile, Jennifer Lopez bounced back with a vengeance, continuing to churn out hit albums and blockbuster movies. She had always been a consummate professional, able to compartmentalize her personal life and maintain her focus on her work. And as the years passed, the Benefer saga began to feel like a distant memory, the stuff of tabloid legend. That is, until Affleck and Lopez reconnected in the summer of 2021, reigniting a spark that had never truly been extinguished. The news of their rekindled romance sent shockwaves through the entertainment world, with fans and critics alike eagerly anticipating the next chapter in this timeless love story. But as with any high-profile relationship, the return of Benefer has not been without its complications. The involvement of Affleck's ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, has added an extra layer of complexity to the already tangled situation. Garner and Affleck had been married for over a decade when they announced their separation in 2015. The divorce was widely reported to be amicable, with both parties emphasizing their commitment to co-parenting their three children. Garner, in particular, was praised for her grace and dignity throughout the process, never engaging in public mudslinging or airing the couple's dirty laundry. In the years since, Garner has largely remained out of the spotlight, focusing on her philanthropic work and occasionally taking on acting projects. She has maintained a low-key, private life, in stark contrast to the tabloid circus that has surrounded Affleck's personal affairs. So when rumors began to swirl that Affleck and Garner had grown closer in the aftermath of his reunion with Lopez, it was perhaps inevitable that tensions would boil over. The idea that Affleck's ex-wife and current partner could be in cahoots, or worse, romantically involved, was a recipe for disaster. And disaster is precisely what unfolded in that fateful coffee shop encounter. The confrontation between Lopez and Garner was, by all accounts, a raw and visceral display of emotion, with both women seemingly unwilling to back down or compromise. In the aftermath, the internet has been ablaze with speculation and commentary. Some have rallied behind Garner, casting her as the wronged party in this drama. Others have accused her of manipulating the situation, suggesting that she intentionally sought out Lopez in order to stir up trouble. Meanwhile, Lopez's supporters have defended her right to confront what she perceives as a betrayal, arguing that any woman in her position would have reacted similarly. They point to Affleck's checkered romantic history as evidence that the former Jiggly co-stars may have valid reasons to be wary of each other. And then there are the Benefer diehards, who simply want to see their beloved couple ride off into the sunset, unfettered by the drama and baggage of their past. They hold out hope that Affleck, Lopez, and Garner can somehow find a way to coexist peacefully, putting the needs of the children first and setting aside their personal grievances. But as anyone who has followed the twists and turns of celebrity relationships knows, such resolutions are easier said than done. The paths of these three intertwined lives have been anything but smooth, and the road ahead is likely to be just as turbulent. Only time will tell how this latest chapter in the Benefer saga will play out. Will Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer Garner eventually find a way to bury the hatchet, or will their rift only deepen? And where does Ben Affleck fit into all of this, as the man at the center of this tempestuous love triangle? Stay tuned to our channel for the latest updates and analysis on this unfolding drama. And be sure to subscribe and share this article to stay ahead of the curve on all things Benefer and beyond.